welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a Birchbox unboxing. It is $10 a month and works very similarly to Ipsy, where you get some full-size products and some sample size products to try every month. So if you want to see the unboxing, keep on watching. Okay, so it did come in a bubble mailer like this. It's just teal and really cute. Then it comes with a cute little salmon colored box and it says Birchbox on the side and then you, you know, undo it all the way around and then you have the actual box that says magic inside. And when I did this, I did do a promotion where you got a free mini Smashbox palette for your first month. So that's kind of what got me to order it. So here's the box, and when you open it, you have a little card, and under the card is all the products. So, so here's the card. It's really cute. On the back, it shows you how much the products are full size and kind of a brief description of them. So let's get started. Um, this is a little Smashbox mini palette I got with... Um, the product and here are the colors. I did wear it today on my eyes and it blended really well. I had kind of a bad makeup day today so if my eyeshadow looks patchy or weird it's because I had to do one eye like three times because I kept smudging my eyeliner. Ridiculous. But anyways, <laughs> this palette blended really well on the eye that I didn't mess up. Um, I'll do some swatches for you guys too and because you can pick up this mini palette as well at like Ulta um, so I will swatch those for you guys. Okay, so I'm going to start with this one right here. It is called Vanilla. This next one is Wheat. Then we have Grounded. After that we have Rose Hip. Then we have Desert. After that we have Earthy, then we have Canyon, and lastly we have Haze. So there are those colors for you guys. They're all mattes and a couple are, a, I would say a little chalky with a little bit of fallout. But it's really not too bad. The first thing um, listed is the Amica Bombshell Blowout Spray. The full size is $24 and the description is as follows. The star ingredient of the brand's line, Sea Buckthorn Berry, which intensely nourishes hair. The lightweight styler also volumizes, smooths, and protects for a sleek, bouncy do. I am so excited for this. Like, I love, um, I love hair products that kind of smooth and give less frizz because my hair is very straight but well it's not very straight it's like really wavy but when I curl it it gets super frizzy so I love products that help with that so I'm definitely going to be trying this it smells um kind of natural <laughs> it has kind of an odd scent but I'm still going to be trying it really excited for this one and the next thing we have is the Coastal Scents Blush and Highlight Duo. The full size is 1995. It says these favorites from the blush and bronzer palette give skin a radiant glow. The blush adds a pop of color to the to the cheekbones while the highlighter helps lift and Okay, so I'm going to try this blush and highlight out really quick. So for the highlight, I'm going to use a Morphe M321 just cuz it's a easy little pencil brush and it'll be easy to do highlight with. I'm just going to go into that highlight and try to highlight under my brow bone. It was a really, really subtle highlight. I don't know. It might be good for a subtle highlight for the brow bone, but I don't think I would ever use it on my cheeks. It just doesn't quite highlight enough for the cheeks. But I think I would use it for my brow bone because I don't ex necessarily like my brow bone to be like blam highlight. But I definitely like my cheeks to be a little more noticeable. So let's go ahead and try the blush. And I'm going in with a Morphe E4. Um, I think it's technically a contour brush, but I really like the, the size and shape for blush. This looks really pigmented. It is crazy pigmented. I got a little too much. So 
So as you guys can see, tons of pigment with this brush. Um, I probably would get the blush again. It blended out really well, and it's a really pretty color. So I'm defined. The next thing is the R Plus Co. Death Valley Dry Shampoo. The full size is $29. Packed with rice protein sourced from Brazil, this style refreshing spray absorbs excess oil, gives hair volume, and adds tassel textures. Oh my god. And adds tassel texture. Spread 10 to 12 inches away from your scalp. So I love dry shampoos. I use them a lot because I usually do my um, curls on like two or three day hair. Otherwise, my hair will not hold it. But with that comes kind of an oil, oilier scalp. So I definitely use dry shampoo almost every time I um, curl my hair. Also because it adds volume and my hair is not very voluminous. Um, so I'm definitely going to be trying this. The one thing I look for in a dry shampoo, obviously I have brunette hair. And I don't want my roots to look gray or white and if I tousle it it's okay if it comes out but if I do that and it doesn't and it just sort of makes my hair give this gray tint I don't love it so we'll see if this does that next we get two sample sizes of the RMS Beauty the ultimate makeup remover wipes the full size is 20 wipes for $16 it says these grab and go wipes are made with pure naturally antibacterial coconut oil which melts away even the most stubborn makeup the full size is 20 wipes for $16 I wonder if these are going to be super amazing because usually I can get like 40 wipes for like 5 to 8 um, at the drugstore. So I think I would really have to love these um, for me to give it a go, but I will test them out and we'll see. The last thing is the Beauty Cup Girl Power Lips Liquid Lipstick. Um, I'm a boss. <laughs> Full size, $14.95. This liquid lipstick delivers a long wearing matte look and rich, uncompromising color. Enriched with shea butter and vitamin E, it provides comfortable wear for hours. <laughs> So I'm going to try this on the lips for you guys. I do have a lip sense color in the color Fly Girl. And if this is too similar to it, I probably won't be wearing it. But um, we'll see. Okay, so here is the finished color. It is really pretty, but it's a little too close to Fly Girl for me, so I'm going to stick to my lip scents for this color. Um, it doesn't really have much of a smell. Maybe like a light per perfuming kind of vanilla-y scent, but not really strong. Um, it is a matte formula. It went on really well, and um, it's not sticky or anything like that. It's really comf comfortable to wear. Um, my, f my Fly Girl is just going to stay on better, so that's why. Um, but let's do the kiss test. And it passes, so that's good. I will be looking for more um, lipsticks from this company, though, just because um, they might have colors that I would buy that I don't have in lip sense. So, yeah. But that is all I have for you guys for my first Birchbox unboxing. Overall, I really like the box. The Smashbox palette was a nice little add-on, and I really liked the um, tousling spray that they added in. I want to try that really bad. Other than that, if I wear the lip color, it'll be a nice little tryout. The formula feels really comfortable. It's not too drying and it's not very sticky. It glided on really well and not patchy at all. So I'm excited for that. The makeup remover wipes, I don't even know if I'll purchase them because $16 for 20 wipes is just really, really expensive. Um, and uh, the dry shampoo, again, I'm just skeptical, but I'll definitely try it and we'll see how it goes. If you guys get Birchbox and you love it, let me know in the comments down below. And also, let me know your favorite subscription boxes because I want to try a few more out. But that is all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please subscribe.